Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. And we call it the FPC YouTube channel. Uh, Stu Jones along with producer Ryan McCoy. We're hanging out in the man cave and we have got more exciting action from the Tampa Bay Poker Run celebrating 13 years of this uh, annual very festive event which takes place in April every year and headquartered in downtown Tampa at the Tampa Convention Center. Before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor for the FPC 2023 series of events is Mercury Racing, celebrating 50 years of wide open. And by these sponsors in alphabetical order, Big Thunder Marine, Blackwater Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, Concept Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, Doug Wright Power Boats, Fountain Power Boats, Midnight Express Boats, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, Plantation Boat Mart, SD Marine Group Isla Mirada, along with Statement Marine, our local performance boat builder from right here in the Tampa Bay area. And we are now rejoining the group on Saturday afternoon as they have now hit about four checkpoints on the run. We just finished up at the Vinoy checkpoint and uh, back out on the waterways here in the St. Petersburg area and uh, about to head further north to both of the lunch stops we have scheduled for the day. And it's one more time with one of our factory sponsored teams. That's Team Deep Impact from Miami. Mark and Eileen Fisher at the helm of this Deep Impact 399 Open. It's powered by Quad Mercury 350 Verados. And uh, this boat is actually not a factory boat. It's a loaner boat from one of the customers uh, that Deep Impact sold to Paul Bertusi. It's called Team Beer Money 2. Uh, Paul couldn't make the run, but he said, well, guys, if you need a boat, you can use mine. Hey, that's a good customer to have. And I'm happy to report that we have some brand new Deep Impact models uh, at the upcoming Key West Poker Run in November. And let's say hi now to David and Brenda Giles, one of our local teams, uh, which is called Special K. It's a Nortec 390 Sport powered by Mercury Racing 450s. Total of 11 Nortecs registered here in Tampa. Well, it's time for all you old school guys to pay attention because we got an old school cigarette here, a 1995 cigarette Top Gun, Mercury Racing 525s. That was a repower done a few years back. Alan Lima at the helm came all the way over from Miami to join us, and they are the team from Grove Harbor Marina. On the other side, of course, that is our Mercury Racing sponsored cigarette Top Gun 2000 model. Used to be called Project 1080. Now she's Flight 1130. That's because of those twin Mercury Racing 565s. And it appears we're heading north away from uh, St. Petersburg up towards the lunch stops. And just look at how fantastic these conditions are on Tampa Bay waters today. These are the kind of conditions that make this Tampa Bay event so popular with all sizes of boats. And let's say hi once again to Chad and Nadia Van Tilburg who came up from the Cape Coal area with their 44 Concept Team High Limit. It's powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. Well, let's call it triples right now. And now it's our factory team from Concept. Came all the way from Miami to join us. Eric Avila at the helm and uh, the lovely Priscilla Brumidis riding along. Uh, this is a fun crew and they are doing a great job to get these Concept 4400s out there. More and more of them are appearing on our poker runs and we're really happy to have Concept on board with us as a series sponsor this year for the 2023 season. Their next big showing is Emerald Coast. Let's say hi now to Thomas and Susan Klein. Also came out from Cape Coral with their Nortec. 390 Sport, powered by Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. What's their favorite thing about power boating? They said meeting new people and making lifelong friends. Well, you gotta love that. And a nice move over that wake into nice clean water for his aerial photo session. Good move, Tom. You just set yourself up for some nice photos from our aerial team. That's gonna look great in the FPC magazine. And continuing with the Nortec rally, because that's basically what's happening here right now. Tony and Laura Tosca from Maryland. They also have a home in Punta Gorda. 
came up with their 2017 39 foot Nortec Sport. Mercury 350s, uh, triples on the transom. Silver and black colors, just a nice clean looking boat. And you know, 2017, you know, Nortec was five years into this model at this point. And I remember celebrating when Nortec built 200 of these Nortec 390 models. You know, they just celebrated over 400 just a couple of months ago. So that is a true testament to just how popular this Nortec 390 has been for Nortec over the last 10 years. And it looks like we're picking up uh, Marty Reiske now and Team Great White, his Concept 4400. It almost appears like the Nortex and the Concepts got together and said, hey guys, let's run together today. And for Marty, it was their first time doing a Florida Powerboat Club event, so a very special welcome to them. And it's the Headleys back on their Made in America 42-foot fountain. Uh, Spencer Headley at the helm, uh, Mark Headley in the cockpit, along with some of their friends, putting on a great show on this 42-foot Lightning with Big Mercury Racing 700s. This is the loud and proud segment for this episode. So, guys, I'm just going to let it roll. It's that time again, guys. We're going to showcase another checkpoint. This time we're back in the Vinoy Basin with the 60-foot Baya, and they put on a great show. And here we are with our first boat. This is going to be Ron Paul in his uh, Nortec 390 Sport pulling up to their card. Uh, and again, big thanks to Bill and Alyssa Waters and their 62-foot Baya who set the hook here and had a couple of boats raft up and got these lovely ladies to put on these outfits to hand out the cards. And guys, you know, this is the kind of poker run party that you want to enjoy. This is the sort of checkpoint that makes a poker run fun for all of us. And it's one more time for Jeff and Brenda Jacobs from Maryland in this 39 foot cigarette center console, Team Triple J's. They used to do poker runs with us years ago in a cigarette gladiator, but the family got bigger, so the boat did too. And this center console is suiting their needs perfectly. Well, they say there's a first time for everything, and I think that this is the first time I've ever seen George Ariano uh, bring an Outer Limits to a poker run. Well, he did bring this particular 39 Quattro to the Emerald Coast poker run last summer, but this was a, a big surprise for us, uh, for you know George really bringing us this Outer Limits as part of his new fleet. So congratulations on the new OL, George. And it's one more time for our newest uh, member, Eric Lemoyne, in his 43-foot Midnight Express. Uh, Powered by five Mercury Racing 450s. He's got his first mate, Alicia, riding along, as well as some friends. And uh, they are visitors to the area, actually from the town of Sorrento in central Florida. And if you know where that is, it's very landlocked. So I'm sure that they are enjoying the day out on the water with their new friends uh, from the Florida Powerboat Club. And it looks like a Mystic 42 coming up. Yes, it's Gary and Troy Karwowski, team Loaded Deck. They said that they had a fantastic uh, event. Some of the highlights for them were having the helicopter follow them so closely. This is a 2018 42 Mystic with triple Mercury 350 Verados. And their favorite thing about attending poker runs is running with the other boats and visiting new places. And now catching up with uh, Greg Collinson in this 35 foot statement, triple Mercury Racing 400 Rs. Nicely color coordinated graphics on this boat all the way from Canada, but I gave him credit for traveling far to join us. But he said, Stu, no way. He says, I, I stay down here. I got a place in Florida. When I'm home in Ontario, I work all the time. So when I come to Florida, it's time to play. And it's another member of the Statement Clan who are putting on a great show. Ten statements registered for this event. James Paris from Ohio. Yo, Jimmy. And he's been here before. And I just realized it was also in a statement, but it was a cat. That means he's got two statements, a 36 cat and this new 35 powered by triple 300 R's. That is truly making a statement. Well, it looks like we have that statement parade continuing here as yet another 35 pulls up, triple Mercury Racing 400 R's. Craig and Sarah Blankenship from Michigan uh, just took delivery of the boat earlier in the year, attended the Miami Boat Show poker run back in February. 
and returning now here in April to this Tampa Bay run before they take the boat home for the summer months. And now let's welcome Julian Colson, uh, who just broke up the statement parade by introducing his 38 Donzi to the mix and a very interesting team name, which is Peckerhead's Tree and Environmental. Well, of course, that's the name of his landscaping company. Event highlights for them were lifelong friends and first time on their poker run with smiles from ear to ear. Julian said the reason that he had eight dudes on the boat is because their wives were scared to come. <laughs> And it's a return for the Overtons, uh, Keith and Emily Overton, in their 38-foot statement. They're regulars here on this event every year because they live here locally. Uh, but we just heard that they had sold this statement. They're going to be out of the club for a little bit. But I'm guessing their next boat is probably going to be another statement. Jerry Hartman put on a good show last year in his Statement 42 Ultimate, powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. But... It's a little more family friendly with this new 38 model. They just took delivery. It's powered by Triple Mercury Racing 400Rs. And nice to see Dean Palestro back again. He joined us in the Tampa event a year earlier. This is a 38 foot statement center console. It's powered by Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. I love the way they bordered the gunnels with teak and the, those color accents on the Mercury Racing cowlings are super cool. And this is probably the flagship of the fleet here so far anyway, a 38-foot statement, Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. Uh, Wes Johnson made his poker run debut with the club a year earlier, joined us for the Emerald Coast poker run. They came a long way all the way from Texas to join us. The boat stays at statement during the winter months, and uh, he was joined today by Randy Swears, who is currently developing some new statement models with Nick. And our apologies to Bruce Kruglick in uh, Bad Dog 3.0. Uh, it looks like the helicopter may have missed them, but I'm glad that he got up here to get a poker card. The lovely crew on board always puts on a great show. I enjoyed spending some time with uh, Bruce and his crew a year earlier uh, at the lunch stop over at Whiskey Joe's. Uh, this team always out for a great fun time. And a nice shot here of the Benoit Basin. Uh, a great location for a checkpoint as we pull up now in the flight 1130. And of course, we're gonna roll the camera from a different angle. And this is a vantage point I like to be at on every event, or at least when it's not rough. And it's working out great today as David Giles uh, pulls up with his first mate, Brenda. This is Team Special K, Nortec uh, 39, with powered by Mercury Racing 450s. I love the uh, subtle colors. Just a nice silver hull with a little bit of black and red splashes in. And David credits his wife, Brenda, for all of the design of this boat. And now a little more time with Thomas and Susan Klein in their Nortec 390 Sport. And I love this angle because we're getting the shot from above the cockpit of the Baya where the cards are being handed off and then this nice side profile of the boat. That color, by the way, is a dark bronze. And looks like next up again is uh, Marty Reiske Team Great White. Uh, Marty was joined by his wife Martina and their friends Luke and Julie Drazik and Andrea and Bruce Mullins. And although it was their first time attending an FPC event, uh, Marty revealed that he's been watching the FPC YouTube videos for over five years and was finally glad to be able to make it to one of our runs. And it's one more time with Mark and Eileen Fisher and their crew on this Deep Impact 399. Mark just uh, revealed to me that he's ordered himself a new Deep Impact 369 Sport model. It'll be released at the Key West Poker Run in November. And yes, indeed, there is a lot of commotion in the Vinoy Basin right now. I'm sure there's a lot of spectators and onlookers wondering what the heck is going on and where did this helicopter come from? Time for Alan Lima and his crew on this uh, Grove Harbor Marina sponsored 38 foot cigarette Top Gun 1995 model Mercury Racing 525s recently repowered and uh, nice to see Alan getting out and enjoying poker runs with the club. We don't very often see Alan on the runs. Now let's say hi again to Team Concept. That's the factory team all the way from Miami. And uh, the lovely Priscilla Bermudez up on the bow with her friends, Eric Avila at the helm of this very colorful Concept 4400 model. And they just keep coming out with these amazing paint jobs. Uh, this one all alone with its cool looks. I don't think I've seen another one quite like it. And Quad 400 Rs to give you all the power you need for a good cruise speed. And here's another Concept 4400 that is completely different. Uh, this time, it's the full mid-cabin edition, Chad and Nadia Van Tilburg, and it's got the same powered quad 
400Rs, but just look at these outstanding graphics. As I said earlier, just uh, it's amazing what comes out of the Concept Factory. They have got the best painters. Every boat is a work of art. And yeah, nice to see Brett and Trisha Patterson again. Deep Inner is a Deep Impact 369 model with an ideal power matchup, Triple Mercury Racing 300Rs. They are originally from the Lake Cumberland area. They now live in Cape Coral, and it's their first time for the Tampa run. And this is the shot that I know you guys have been waiting for because you wanted to get a closer look at that Baya, right? No, you wanted a closer look at these lovely ladies, and this is the experience you get at this Vinoy checkpoint, and it doesn't get much better than this, guys. Thanks to Team Bad Investment for putting on a show. And a little bit of cheerleading on the sidelines from uh, club member Danny Merrill, who apparently misses my wife Jackie quite a bit. And wait for it, guys. Wait for it. Check this out. Yes, indeed, it is a Nortec 42 Monte Carlo. What a beautiful boat. And it appears that we are now at the end of the line on this uh, Vinoy checkpoint here. Mark Headley with uh, son Spencer at the helm, pulling up with Team Maiden America, a boat that's been here many times before on the Tampa run. So one more time with a big thank you to Bill and Alyssa Waters on Team Bad Investment. That is the 62-foot Baya. And I think that we can all agree that we very much would like to have this team come back for the next Tampa Poker Run in 2024. Yes, you girl, I want you back, all of you back. And the card stop number five we showcased in our last episode, that was near Hula Bay, but now we're over here at Whiskey Joe's, a little further north up into the harbor, right by the Courtney Campbell Causeway, and this nice uh, beachfront venue with a fantastic restaurant and giant tiki bars. And this was a good stop for about 30 power boats as we nestled the hulls up on the beach and had a nice uh, barefoot lunch here at Whiskey Joe's, thanks to the entire crew for making this uh, a nice welcome and we hope to come back again next year this is certainly going to be another lunch stop for the tampa bay poker run but now we're going to get back out onto the bay waters and start making our way back to downtown tampa and since we had missed a lot of aerial time in the morning hours due to that low ceiling and the uh, helicopter was grounded for the first two hours of the day that really messed up our plans for photo and video. But today we're going to make it up. The sun is out. Uh, the winds are calm. The bay waters are ideal now for aerial photos. So let's get to it. And it's now Ron Paul from Illinois in his 39-foot uh, Nortec 390 Sport. I uh, just took delivery of the boat from Tuppence Marine in West Palm Beach. And they are entertaining uh, a whole bunch of truck dealers here for this poker run over this weekend. And they all had a blast. And one of the newest additions to the George Ariano fleet, this MTI 390. It's a full race model with a full canopy, Mercury Racing 450Rs. And George confessed that he likes to use these poker runs to shake the boat down and get ready for the next race, which happens to be in a couple of weeks at Marathon. Of course, it's unusual to see full canopy boats on poker runs and not really well suited for poker runs. Uh, but in George's case, well, this is just a good time for him to shake the boat down and get it ready for the next race and get his crew together for some good social time. And that was a quick shot of Rob McAtee in his 36th statement. And now catching up with the Flight 1130 cigarette, yours truly at the helm, uh, my favorite place in the world, alongside my wife, Jackie, who came out to enjoy the day and our uh, lovely FPC girls riding along. I waited a long time to make sure the helicopter came back to get us. So uh, this is my highlight of the day. I love getting photographs of the boat. I only have about 6,000 so far, but it's never enough, right? And it's James Paris again. We saw this boat uh, get its card at Vinoy recently, but here she is running, and what a beautiful statement this is. 35 with triple 300 Rs. And I love the graphics with the charcoal and the stripes uh, going along the side, black bottom. You know, one thing about statement, they seem to keep the boats consistently different when it comes to the paint and graphics and proof really that these are custom built boats and that is always an expression of the individual owner. You've got a clean slate when you start building your boat and by the end you've got something that's truly unique.
and it looks like all the fountains have teamed up for this run now looking on the far side i believe that's simon williams in one of those 38 scx models uh his partner with cortez cove in the other 38 scx and of of course, this is Aaron Swafford. This is a 38 TE model, uh, Quad Mercury 400 Verados. Of course, we all know Aaron as the operator of the nearby Harbor Ridge Marina that uh, many of us used uh, to stage our boats. He's got a lot of friends on board today. Mike and Nicole, uh, Will and Carrie, and they're all local boaters, so very familiar with this Tampa event. And in his video bio, Aaron said about power boating, he loves meeting people from all over the country with the same passion. Loves the adrenaline rush, the boats, and of course, the girls. Well, we all love the girls, don't we? And it's another MTI 390X. This time it's Tommy Frund from Long Island. Uh, he's done this event before in his uh, 34 MTI, but the 390X is new to him. Twin Mercury Racing, 450Rs, and I love the graphics and how the uh, engine cowlings match the colors on the boat and i said this boat was a contender for the best paint and graphics well guys you'll just have to wait and find out because at the end of the show we're going to feature all of the awards And it's one more time with Rob Boucher and Team Dive Ocean. This is a 36-foot front runner, brand new model, 2023 edition, Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. Well, apparently the stereo works because these guys are having a party today. And from his video bio, Rob said that he, about power boating, he loves the camaraderie, running fast with others, especially those who know how to handle their vessels at higher speeds. He also loves the safety factor that everyone follows. Well, we can all agree with that because safety is paramount to the success of these poker runs. And it's one more time with Zach Polsky in his 43-foot uh, midnight open. Beautiful boat, team game over. Made its debut last year. I believe he did the Miami run and again, the Key West poker run. And with Zach here, he's helped uh, Midnight Express turn out some pretty stellar numbers with seven registered Midnight Express models at this event. Everyone truly unique in its styling and colors and the way it's laid out. Zach and his team are one of a large group that come down from New Jersey to join this event. He actually keeps his boats in the Maryland area just a couple hours away from home. And speaking of Maryland, well, here's David and Jenny Landsman, who are actually from Maryland, and that is where they do most of their summer boating, but the rest of the year, well, you're going to find them doing our poker runs down here in Florida. Game Changer is a 43 Solstice model that was introduced at the Key West Poker Run back in November. Okay, well, guys, don't confuse this boat with the one you saw a minute ago. No, this is Eric Lemoyne, and it's his first time on the Tampa Bay Poker Run with his five engine 43 open model. Uh, once again, very different in the layout. It's got the smaller cabin. Uh, he's done a different treatment on the interior with the tan coloring in contrast to the red. I can think it's got Ferrari written all over it. Just need that yellow Ferrari logo on the side. And continuing with this Midnight Express rally, and these guys are really good at getting together and putting on a good show. Chris and Shelby Mattingly from Kentucky. Five Mercury Racing 450Rs on this 43-foot Solstice model. And if you look closely now at the interior, you'll see that's what makes it a Solstice. You can see that long cabin that stretches forward, and then it's got the bow seating ahead of that. So still plenty of room to have 15 or 20 people comfortably throughout the boat, but still have that air-conditioned cabin down below. Shelby Madding Lee uh, got her girlfriend along. They say they always have a good time on these poker runs. Their home state is Kentucky, so you can be certain to see them on the Lake Cumberland run. In fact, we were just there recently, and sure as hell, they were there putting on a great party. Nice to see them joining us here on the Tampa Bay run. And yes, indeed, at these speeds and with that wind just flowing through the boat, occasionally there's a need for a wardrobe adjustment. And it's another midnight. This time it's Tony and Jessica Gilo, Team Nino, a 2020 Midnight Express 43 Open. Mercury Racing 450Rs, quads that is, runs great with four motors. I love how the blue accents in the interior roll into the engine cowlings. Guys, I love that look. 
Nice black bottom, gray sides, simple and not overstated. And it's their second Midnight Express, and it's the third time here at the Tampa Bay Poker Run. A local team from Dunedin, and they keep coming back to Tampa because they say it's a blast. And it's the unofficial leader of the pack, Eric Glazer, with his first mate Hagen on board in this 43 Solstice model, five Mercury Racing 450s. And they seem to be really liking this Tampa Bay event. It's not too far for them, maybe about a four-hour haul. Uh, but look at the representation here from Midnight Express. And I really have to hand it to these guys for stepping up to the plate and really organizing a nice group rally. They put their boats together, they run together, but they're coming into the channel now, so they got to slow down because it's going to be idle speed in just a second. This 39 MTI belongs to Mike Boyle from Cape Coral. Uh, he's loving the boat, and I know he's got plans to put some bigger motors. He's got 450Rs right now, but I know he's got some 500Rs ordered, and a bunch of guys in the club are moving up to those big new 500s. Here's Brandon Mayer, who came all the way from Fort Myers to join us uh, with this 40-foot Mystic Carbon Edition uh, Twin Mercury Racing 450Rs. A very stylish cat, very unique in the way in which it's designed. If you look really closely at that cockpit with the rear-facing lounge seat, I think it's a great-looking design, a beautiful boat, and uh, a very loyal attendee here. Brandon seems to like the Tampa Bay event comes every year with his mom and his dad and, and his girlfriend now and the good news is is they're having so much fun doing poker runs he's going to join us for the bahamas poker run in just another month and slowing things down now as we wind up a, a beautiful saturday afternoon boats are now getting back into the harbor there's frank sheelan with his 36 nortec and yes we are in the high rent district now guys well <laughs> not super high but it's kind of a good deal when you can dock your boat in a floating slip right here in front of the Water Street Marriott. A lot of us, of course, are staying right here at the same hotel. Not a bad deal. That's the incentive of signing up earlier and, of course, maintaining your platinum membership with the Florida Powerboat Club. And that's who gets the best slips here at this Water Street Marriott location. Well, it doesn't suck at the Tampa Bay Convention Center either. It's just on the other side of the bridge. And that is where the majority of our teams are docked, including uh, that is the location of the sponsor dock. It's where we do our first poker card and have our Saturday morning kickoff breakfast from the dock. We're over here at the Westin now, and nothing better than a happy hour pool party. This is most of the statement gang getting together for a cocktail in the pool before we head to our big party for the evening. And here we are indeed. Uh, we've got the FPC girls and the lovely Miss Kimberly from Erickson Marine, and they are promoting the Florida Powerboat Club in a very stylish way. <laughs> hey, we want to see the video. Move over. I think my boat is in that video. <laughs> And here are the ladies uh, led by Miss Hannah from Key West, and she brought up some of her girlfriends to join us to play out the poker cards. Two bar stands here for this party tonight and a new room that we have not used before, but it worked out really well because we had this uh, little private lounge area where we could play the videos and play out the poker cards, and then we had a nice big dining room on the opposite side. So we really did have a good setup for this party, but the good news is that next year in 2024, we're going to be getting the entire uh, full-size ballroom for this party because this event is just getting bigger and bigger all the time. And at 62 registered teams, I'm not really talking about the boat count, I'm talking about the people count. The crews are getting much, much larger because everyone is in these big center consoles and you could easily have 10, 12, 14 people just with your crew alone. Uh, but a fun festive evening. Uh, looks like Simon Williams getting a little extra love uh, from the FPC girls. And it's always fun seeing a few video clips uh, of the party, you know, a few months later because, uh, you know, we were maxed out at this venue. It would be these big 12 top tables. Every single seat was had and everyone seemed to have a fantastic time. And one thing I want to note we did differently, it was a plated meal. I think the food ended up being fantastic. We had a couple of choices of uh, menu options, but less people walking around trying to negotiate the buffet and back and forth and stepping on toes. And I got to say, I loved it. And I think everybody else did too. So I think we're going to try to do more of that as we go forward. And we kicked off our award ceremony by recognizing all of our sponsors. First up was Mark and Eileen Fisher from Team Deep Impact. Representing Nortec High Performance was Jeff Tomlinson from the Nortec factory. He rode along with the kudos on the brand new Nortec 390. And another sponsor who was recognized all the way from Miami, Eric Avila from Concept Boats. They had a great showing at the event this year. And representing Cortez Cove Marina dealers for Fountain Power Boats is Simon Williams along with his partner, John Lynch. They had two brand new Fountain 38 center console models registered for the run. 
And Simon Williams also won Best Poker Run Boat for the brand new Fountain 38 SCX model. And our local sponsor uh, recognized was Nick Buis from Statement Marine. He was joined by his son Owen for the award. I also gave Nick a very special award, a Member Appreciation Award that I selected, and that was based on a long history I've had with Nick through the industry, many, many years that we shared together, and but really for the extra support they gave us in Tampa uh, by also providing us with a shuttle boat for the Tampa Convention Center docks. And the next award went to Midnight Express. Eric Glazer was joined by his first mate, Hagen Glazer, uh, for this award. And they were also joined by David and Jenny Landsman. So in addition to getting a Sponsor Appreciation Award for Midnight Express, David Landsman won the President's Choice Award for Best Sound System, sponsored by JL Audio. That was for his 43-foot Midnight Express Solstice. The President's Choice Award for Best Center Console went to Jack and Jennifer Kudo from Maryland with their brand new Nortec 390 Sport. It was the first poker run for the new Nortec. The Farthest Traveled Award went to Frank Schielen, Team Top Fun, 36-foot Nortec. He traveled all the way from Germany to join us for the run. The Farthest Trailered Award went to John Van Dyke, who trailered his 30 Concept all the way from Michigan to join us for the run. The Best Catamaran Award went to Robert McAtee from Oklahoma. Team Statement is a brand new 36-foot Statement cat. Actually, the first cat he's owned, and he said he absolutely loves it. The Best Performance V-Bottom Award went to Red Reynolds for Team Lady Lisa, a 55-foot Nortec flyer with four Mercury V-12s. Accepting for Red was his captain, along with the talented Miss Kimberly Erickson. The Most Enthusiastic Team Award went to Team High Limit, Chad and Nadia Van Tilburg in their 44 concept. That had a lot to do with the show they put on. Well, one of their crew members put on as they pulled up for card number one. The Best Classic Boat Award went to Alan Lima for his 1995 Cigarette 38 Top Gun, accepting uh, for Alan was Captain Austin, who joined us for the run. The Best Team Name went to Mike Boyle with his 39-foot MTI Cat. The boat name was Team Catitude. And the Broken Propeller Award went to Mike Chisuli, a team Maxon Auto, the 39-foot MTI Cat. And it had nothing to do with the propeller. I think it was some electronics on one of his 450Rs. The Sexiest Crew Award went to Hagen Glazer and the girls of Team Midnight Express with honorable mention to the first runner-up, and that would be the Sexy Girls Board Team Fountain, uh, Simon Williams' crew, and that would include the lovely first mate, Miss D, along with her two girlfriends, who put on a great show up on the T-top of that 38 Fountain SCX model. And it's now time to introduce our winners of the poker run, starting with third place, which went to George Ariana with Team 151 Express. Second place winners were Jerry and Susan Hartman with Team Her Ultimate Statement. That was the brand new 38 Statement Center Console. And congratulations to our first place winners, Chad and Nadia Van Tilburg and Team High Limit. 44 concept center console well it was a fantastic weekend in every way shape and form we rounded it out with a great party on saturday night of course uh, the fun was not over because sunday we still had beautiful weather and a lot of people went out and did some local boating on the tampa bay waters before we sign off i want to uh, offer you guys the special segment called fpc by the numbers we talked about this in some earlier episodes, but I want to just sum up the event in terms of who was there, where they came from, and what kind of boats attended. So, of course, as I said earlier, we had a total of 62 registered teams, and of course that number could go much higher. We were limited in docking at this event due to a recent hurricane. So next year, with the additional docking at Marjorie Park, we could easily see this event go back to 75 or 80 teams. Of those 62 teams, uh, by state and country, well, first of all, we had in addition to the United States, we had two other countries represented, including Canada and Germany. And of the 62 remaining teams, uh, it broke down like this with Florida, 38 teams. Maryland uh, was next in line with six registered teams. New Jersey and Ohio, each with three teams attending. Then again, uh, New York, Michigan and Texas, uh, all with two teams represented. And then there were three states, Illinois, Kentucky, and Pennsylvania, all with one team each represented on the roster. And the whole manufacturer rankings broke down like this, with the leading manufacturer represented at Nortec with 11 registered teams. 
And at a very close second place was Team Statement, our local manufacturer with 10 registered teams. They were followed by Midnight Express with seven registered teams, and that was a great showing for Midnight. The next up was Cigarette Racing with six registered boats on the run, followed by Concept from Miami with five registered teams and tied with MTI with additionally with five teams and Fountain also with five teams. Uh, then it was two each for teams Deep Impact and Donzi manufacturers uh, represented on the roster. As far as hull types, get this guys, out of the 62 teams, 45 center consoles. 45, that is truly amazing. Followed by 11 catamarans and six, yes, the dying breed, the performance V-bottoms like us old school guys that own cigarette top guns. Just six teams represented with old school performance V-bottoms. And the engine manufacturer rankings. Well, guys, I think we know where we're all going with this. Of the 62 registered teams, we had 60 with Mercury or Mercury Racing Power, and we had two teams with custom-built stern drive engines. Well, guys, I can't think of a better wrap-up than that. We really had a fantastic experience in Tampa this year. The weather was fantastic. The sea conditions were wonderful. And, of course, uh, all of our partners is with uh, our restaurant partners and our hotel partners and our marina partners uh, all provided great facilities for us. I think it was a big win-win for everybody on this 13th annual Tampa Bay Poker Run. But we got to move, guys. we got to get uh, up to the north. We're going to move next month to Orange Beach, Alabama, for the fourth annual Orange Beach Powerboat Week presented by The Wharf, which is an amazing entertainment complex with lodging, luxury condos, hotels, entertainment, and an amusement park, and of course, a marina, all at one single destination with a water playground at your doorstep. Doesn't get much better than that, guys, and we have got four episodes with feature coverage uh, coming at you, so stay tuned. You can't afford to miss another episode featuring the lifestyles and the adventures of the Florida Powerboat Club members. So stay tuned by subscribing to our channel. Be sure you click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page. And you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now. I'll go over here.